What does EMD stand for? That's what we're discussing today. I'm Sandy Curtis with Berkshire Hathaway Bone Realty in Hagerstown, Maryland, your real estate resource. And let's get to the topic of today, shall we? Welcome back. Today we're discussing what EMD is, earnest money deposit. When purchasing a property, you have to show that you are earnest in purchasing that home in way of a deposit that will go into most likely a non-interest bearing account until your closing date and then that amount of money goes towards your closing costs. When you're writing an offer, your real estate agent is most likely going to ask you if you're comfortable writing a check for X amount of dollars depending on what you are purchasing, the dollar amount of that sale, and the request by the seller or the seller's agent in the multiple listing system. We call that money a security deposit or an earnest money deposit. It shows that you are earnest and you are willing to put this money out on the line. If your contract falls through because of something you do that is not in your contract, this is the money you're willing to lose. Would you put money up in a form of an earnest money based on your contract? There are reasons that you would be refunded that money if you were to not go to closing. Note that if it's not written in that contract, say you just changed your mind and you didn't like the blue shutters on the house or you don't like the flooring or you've just, you know, I, I don't want the house anymore. I don't have the, the feels for it anymore. It's very, very likely that you are going to lose your earnest money. It just depends on how forgiving the sellers are going to be. When you're writing your contract with your real estate agent, she's going to go over different aspects of the contract, like your appraisal, your loan type, your inspections, and what is going to need to be done to get you to closing. There are certain things in that contract that give you reasoning to back out of the contract and get your earnest money back as long as you are following the guidelines of the contract. If you step outside of the contract lines, it is very possible you will lose your earnest money deposit, such as you've changed your mind completely, you just don't want to live on that block anymore, or say, you know, I don't like the colors of the house and I, I just don't want to paint it. Well, you're going to lose your earnest money deposit. The more expensive the home is, the more likely they're going to want a larger chunk of money down for that earnest money. Though there's no set amount that you have to put down as an earnest money, remember everything's a negotiation. If the seller requests a higher amount than you're comfortable putting down, you can always offer less and negotiate that with the seller. I hope this helped explain what earnest money deposits are and how they work with you in your real estate transaction. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. However, note that if it's not written that However, note if it is not written in that contract. How many times can I say contract in one sentence? Woo! <sighs> okay.